even with a new a new model right about to come the tesla model y was still the best selling passenger car in australia the best selling vehicle that wasn't a ute as in a pickup truck the 10 best selling electric cars have just been revealed here in australia really interesting guys very different to what's happening in america in america Hyundai and Kia EV sales have grown pretty significantly in the last few months, even though they don't technically qualify for the full US EV incentive of $7,500. But here in Australia, Kia and Hyundai sales of their EVs are just backsliding big time. I mean, availability isn't the problem here. In the past, you had to go into a lottery to buy a Kia EV6 or a Hyundai Ioniq 5. Now there's no lottery, sales have just disappeared. However, Maybe part of the reason could be the fact that the MG4, the BYD Dolphin, and the Aura Cat, they've all gone on sale. These are affordable electric cars. And also, Tesla, of course, are about to start selling the Model 3 Highland, or at least start delivering those within the next few weeks. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Unquestionably, Tesla still owns the EV market here in Australia. Of course, Model 3 sales have fallen significantly, but they're still quite high considering the fact Tesla hasn't even been selling the Model 3 for the last few months. It's only selling inventory stock, which is kind of like, you know, old models, Model 3, no Model 3 Highlands, but you can buy the Model 3 Highland. The only new cars you can buy from Tesla when it comes to the Model 3 are the Highland version, so the sales for the Model 3 here are quite surprising. I'm not sure how Tesla even managed these numbers. First place, best-selling electric car, as always, for the last six months, is the Tesla Model Y. 3,151 sales. It dwarfed everything else. Nothing else even came close, which to me is a big surprise. Clearly, a lot of people haven't been watching my videos here in Australia. There's a new version of the Model Y coming out, guys. It's going to be in Australia within two months, less than two months. It's quite a bit better. Price will probably be around about the same. Just letting you know. Second place, second best selling EV in Australia was the MG4 with 835 deliveries. I think the MG4 is fantastic for the price, especially the base model, $39,000. I'm talking Australian dollars, so Americans, that's about 26,000 US dollars. So what is, what is a very good car? Third place, Tesla Model 3, 788 sales. As in the Tesla Model 3 nearly sold as many as the MG4. Amazing, considering it's not even being sold right now. Well, of course, old inventory stock is. But if you want to buy a new, a new Tesla Model 3, like I said, you have to buy the Highland. Fourth place, BYD Addo 3. Bit disappointing in terms of sales for BYD here. I honestly expected more sales from BYD uh, this month. But anyway... For whatever reason, Addo 3, fourth place with 668 deliveries. In fifth place was the Dolphin with 589 sales. So clearly more people have purchased the MG4. I did expect this to happen. It'll be a close, an interesting close race over the next 12 months between the MG4 and the Dolphin. Very similar cars, very similar prices. I still think the MG4 is slightly better value and appears that buyers do as well, with obviously quite a few more buyers getting the MG4. But that said, the Dolphin does come with the well-known and well-trusted Blade battery. So that is definitely something that some people clearly consider worth paying what I think is a little bit more money for the Dolphin, technically, considering what you're getting for the money. Anyway, next was the Volvo C40 Recharge, which had 215 sales. That was followed by, really, in my opinion, surprising and disappointing sales numbers for the Kia EV6. I saw one today. I said to the guy, mate, I love your car. It looked fantastic. I don't know why, but even in white, it looked really good. And this guy said, yeah, I love the car. He looked like he was maybe uh, late 70s. So good on him for learning a new car. Obviously, very new technology. But he obviously, he loved the Kia EV6. So I'm really surprised to see only 212 deliveries of the EV6. Uh, in the US, his sales numbers for the EV6 have gone up significantly over the last few months, but here in Australia, not happening. Next was the Polestar 2 with 191 deliveries. I've got to say, I am surprised that people would buy a Polestar 2 instead of the Kia EV6. Seems like the EV6 is 
significantly better to me. But if you've bought the Polestar 2 instead of the EV6, I'm curious, let me know why that was. Probably a good reason for that. So let me know in the comments. Next, Mercedes-Benz EQA. Absolute rubbish here for the price. For the 170 people who bought this, I have no idea why you made that truly bizarre decision. Pretty much every other car on this list is a better vehicle. And it's just, it's a joke for the price. Anyhow, Cooper Bourne. Cooper Bourne's actually a pretty good car. 103 deliveries of the Cooper Bourne. Next was the Hyundai Ionic 6, 98 deliveries. Massive discounts for the Ionic 6. I'm surprised to see it only sold 98, 98 in total. Big discounts, $10,000 off many Ionic 6s. Minimum, I think there's other models that have less discounts, uh, but the new model is on its way as well. The 2024 model, not much different to the old model though. So I'd probably, if you're going to get one of them, get the older version with the big discount. That was followed by the Ionic 5, the Hyundai Ionic 5 with only 88 sales. One of the best cars in this list. It's a bit expensive. Maybe that's the reason it's not selling. I don't know. But Hyundai and Kia, very, very surprising and disappointing sales numbers from them in Australia. That was followed by the Hyundai Kona with 57 deliveries. So Hyundai clearly has three electric cars. But if you add those three together, they sold only just over 200. So I don't understand what's going on here. They're actually all, all quite good cars. Next, the Porsche Taycan. I mean, Porsche sold as many Taycans as Hyundai sold Konas. And there's a, that's the new version of the Kona, I believe. Porsche Taycan, 56 sales. Mercedes-Benz EQE. It's actually a good Mercedes-Benz electric car, but quite expensive. 50 sales. And the Nissan Leaf with an abysmal 43 sales. I have no idea why anyone would have bought a Nissan Leaf unless there was a 50% discount. If you want one of the people who paid for a Nissan Leaf, I mean, what, they're more than $50,000. Why on earth would you get one of those instead of a BYD Dolphin <laughs> or a, an MG4 or any of the other cars in this list except for the Mercedes EQA? Guys, the sales here of EVs in Australia, they're still pretty good. I think over the next few months, we're going to see some big, big increases. More models. We've got the BYD Seal, the Tesla Model 3 Highland, the upgraded Tesla Model Y, which most people don't seem to be aware of. But anyway, that's coming. Then we'll also have some other electric cars, which I've mentioned in other videos, and I'll talk about the 10, what in my opinion, are the 10 most important electric cars coming to the Australian car market next year, and whether or not you should hold off and wait for one of those. Maybe you should. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.